Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome back to my channel. So I just got back from getting my mail and look at what was in my mailbox today. I got another subscription box from Simply Earth. These things are so cool. I think this is such a great gift idea for anybody, but especially for yourself. Um, I'm really enjoying getting these boxes. Uh, so Simply Earth, in case you're not sure what they are, is a, it's an essential oil company. They make 100% essential oils. And what you do is you sign up for their monthly subscription boxes. And I'm gonna leave all that information in the box below. Um, basically what it is, you just go onto that link. And when you use my coupon code, make sure you use the coupon code because that's gonna entitle you to to a $20 gift card that they will email to you and then you can use that $20 on future purchases on anything in their store. Um, the other really cool thing about Simply Earth is 13% of all their per proceeds all goes towards ending human trafficking, which I think is a really, really cool cause. So not only are you getting yourself a cool little gift, you're also you know, you're helping other people too, which is really, really awesome. Now, the other thing I will mention is this subscription box is $39 for those of you who are lucky enough to live in the States because you also don't have to pay shipping when you live in the States. Now, for us Canadians, I, I did have a Canadian subscriber of mine let me know that she ordered this uh, last month and she is enjoying it, but the only thing she wanted everybody to be aware of is, of course, when you're living in Canada, you're gonna be paying the difference on the dollar and you're also gonna be having to pay shipping, which was fairly substantial. So I just wanted to put that out there just to let you guys have a heads up for those Canadians who are wanting to order one of these, just to keep that in mind. So I think that's everything. I'm really excited to get into this box. So let's see what they sent me this month. So before I get into my December box here, I do want to tell you a little bit about this bonus box. So when you sign up for your very first subscription box from Simply Earth, they're going to send you this bonus box for free. And what's in this box is basically all the things that you're going to need in future subscription boxes. They have all these little recipe cards and down the road you're going to need certain things to make you know upcoming recipes. So they have stuff like coconut oil, they've got more uh, like a liquid more of a coconut oil, they've got uh, almond oil, they give you all these little roll-on bottles that you can put little concoctions in here. Um, little jar that you can put things in. So this is quite a big value. I think, I think I saw somewhere on their site that this is a $49 value. Like I said, they're giving this to you for free. All right, so let's open up this box and see what's inside this month. Here we go. Oh, yay. It is definitely Christmas themed. I can tell that by all these little stickers. This is another really cool feature, I think. They give you all these little stickers. All you do is you just cut them out and they are sticky on the other side. So whatever you're making, you know, like if you're gonna make a little recipe here, you can put this right on top. So you know exactly what's in there. And then also all of the essential oils that they send you, they always send you four. They actually have all the names of all of them. So again, you just cut these out and then you can put them right on the top of the bottles here. So if you've got them all standing up in, in a container or something, that's really easy for you to be able to see what um, which one is which. So you get these little stickers and you also get these awesome little recipe cards, which we're gonna go over here in a minute together. So these are the scents that they've sent this month. Um, there's clove, peppermint, breathe easy, and this one I've never heard of before, Pat patchouli it's called. So I'm kind of curious to see what these are all going to smell, especially this one. You know what? I'm going to smell this one right now. This has piqued my curiosity. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. That's a scent that I have never smelled before. It is really good, actually. I, I really like that. That's interesting. Okay, so they've also got this little container, um, a little package of citric acid, and there's also a package here of goat milk powder. Mm, that sounds interesting. So let's see what recipe cards they sent us this time. So we've got a tension relief bath bomb. That looks interesting. I make my own bath bombs too, so it'll be interesting to see if their recipe is similar to the ones I make. This one is called Trim the Tree Diffuser Blend. This one is a Congestion Support Roll-On. Cold support chest rub. Oh, that sounds interesting too, especially this time of year. Everybody's got colds. Breathe easy bath salts. Oh, that sounds nice as well. And the last one is vanilla mint lip scrub. That sounds yummy. So I'm just going to look these over and I'm going to pick a few of these to make and then we'll uh, do that together. All right, so I'll be right back. 
So I've decided on three recipes here. I'm going to make the bath bomb and I'm going to do the diffuser blend. I just purchased my first diffuser this morning actually. I'm so excited to diffuse my oils now and make my house smell nice. And then I'm also going to make this congestion roll on because Megan's got a really bad cold right now. So I think this might help her out. So let's start with the bath bomb. Um, so I've already pre-measured a half a cup of baking soda. So next I have a quarter cup of cornstarch. Now this is an ingredient that is not in my bath bomb um, ingredient list. So this is going to be interesting to see what kind, of, what kind of effect this has on the bath bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here next. Then we need a quarter of a cup of Epsom salt. And that's about a quarter of a cup there. And we're going to need a quarter of a cup of citric acid, which they have provided us right here. So I'm just going to... Now I assume this is a quarter of a cup in here, but I'm going to measure it just to be sure. Yep. Perfect. So next is a tablespoon of the goat milk powder. So I assume that they've already pre-measured this, but I'm not sure. So let's just see here. One tablespoon. Nope, there's actually more in this package than a tablespoon. So there would be enough in here to make probably one more bath bomb. So that's cool. I'm just going to set that aside for another time. And so yeah, basically you're just going to put all the dry ingredients here, which I believe I have in there now. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a mix. And then the next thing we need to do is melt the coconut oil and add the essential oils um, together into the melted coconut oil. So I've actually already done that. I put two tablespoons of the solid coconut oil. This was in my big bonus box. <laughs> And so I've got that all melted. I'm going to just add my essential oils. Now the essential oils that they want us to put in here are the patchouli, the peppermint, and the clove. So we're going to put five drops of the, this one that's called patchouli. This is a really, like I said, this is a really interesting scent. So we want five drops of this. So next we need three drops of the peppermint. One, two, three, and two drops of clove. Oh, I love cloves. Oh, that smells good. One, two. I'll just give that a little stir. So now we just need to combine our oil and our essential oils into our dry mixture here. Now, if you wanted, you could put some food coloring into this, but I'm just going to leave mine white, um, and you're going to see why here in a minute, because I'm going to have it in a special mold here, so it will make more sense to you once I show you that. So basically what you're going to do is going to add a little bit of water, and a spray bottle works really, really well for this. You don't want to put too, too much in. You just want to get this to be the consistency so that when you squish it together, it just sort of holds its form. So you can mix this all together here. I find it actually easier to just use my hands. <laughs> and so basically the consistency you're looking for is something that's going to hold together when you pack it together. It needs a little more water. So we're getting very close, almost there. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Now you can use whatever you want for, for a mold. Um, I like to use silicone molds myself because they're really easy to pop the uh, bath bombs out of when they're, once they're set up and hardened. So that's a really good consistency right there. So when I'm squeezing it together, it's holding its shape. So now let me show you the mold I'm going to put it in because it is winter. I have these awesome little snowflake molds and this is a silicone, silicone mold. I think I got this at Michael's actually. And you just sort of push them into your mold here. Pack them in nice and tight. This smells really good. I can tell, I think it must be the cornstarch because they feel really soft. 
you know what, if I really like this um, recipe, I think I will start using this instead of my other one. If the cornstarch is the, is the difference, it makes them nice and soft, it makes your water nice and soft, which I'm kind of guessing it probably will, then yeah, I think this will be the recipe that I use too from now on. So these are pretty big molds, but it looks like I'm going to get two bath bombs out of this. So that's, that's awesome. I can have one and Megan can have one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to make sure I pack that in there really, really tight. And then once this is set up here, I will pop them out and I'll show you what those look like. So I just want to give you a little tip here. I actually put my mold in the freezer so that these would harden up and set up a little bit quicker than if just leaving them out to air kind of dry, that would take a few hours. So I'm going to take these right out and you'll see how easy these come out of these little silicone molds here. So I just kind of loosen them a little bit and then they just pop right out like that. So there's my little snowflake bath bomb. Those little silicone molds work awesome. Look at that. Look at the details on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these onto a wire rack and then that way they can really dry out all the way around and I'd give them a couple, two or three days, let's let them get really, really hard and then Megs and I can enjoy these in the bath. So the next thing I'm going to make is this congestion support roll on. This one looks really super easy. So what you need is one of their little um, roll on bottles, glass bottles. So you just take the top off and then you just pull this little roll on ball thing off like that and then what they want you to do is put the essential oils in here first and then you're going to pour in some almond oil that's going to that's what they call a carrier oil i'm kind of learning about all these essential oil terms as myself as i go along here so we're going to be putting three drops of the peppermint and three drops of the breathe easy oil blend so here's the peppermint and i'm just going to do one two three drops of that and the breathe easy oh the house smells so good <laughs> these oils are amazing they're so strong but they the smell is just amazing okay and now it just says to fill the rest of the way up with the almond oil or any other carrier oil so you could use other oils if you wanted so i'm just going to go ahead and fill this little thing up with some almond oil And like I said, I'm going to give this to Megan. She can rub this around and hopefully this will help her out with her cold. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put the little roller back on and the lid, give it a little shake. And then I went ahead and I cut out the little sticker here that they gave us for the congestion support roll on. And we'll just put that right on the little jar. So I'll just put this right on the jar here. They've thought of everything. That's what I love about this company is they're just, they're very thorough and thoughtful of everything. So there we go. So like I said earlier, I went today and I purchased my own little diffuser. Um, I know Simply Earth does sell them on their website as well, but I just, I couldn't wait. I wanted to get one of my own here right away so that I could start diffusing these awesome scents. So I just went Shoppers Drugs today and I got this little guy. He was on sale for $34.99. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. It also color, changes colors and things, which is, which is kind of cool too. So I think all of these little diffusers work basically the same way. Um, I filled it up to where it said the max line was. So I've gone ahead and put my water in there. Now for this um, recipe it calls for two drops of clove oil and one drop of patchouli so i'm going to put two drops of cloves in here and one drop of this patchouli and then you just put the little lid back on like so and I'm just going to turn mine on. And mine has the option of you can either have it come out all at once, which is what it's going to be doing right now. And if I hit the button again, 
it will do an intermittent. So if it's on all the time, it lasts for six hours. And if it's on intermittently, then it will, it will last for 12 hours. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's like steam coming out of here. And it's, yeah, it's, wow, that smells good already. Oh, wow. I'm, I can't wait to use this. This is going to be so awesome. I can just have these scents going in my bedroom or out here in the kitchen. And it's going to make the whole house smell so good. I was really excited to get my hands on one of these little guys. So this, like I said, this particular one I have, it also changes colors, which is kind of cool. And I believe the one that Simply Earth has theirs, theirs is similar to this as well, where it changes colors and things like that as well. So that is kind of a neat feature. So that's everything for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little opening. Um, if you guys are interested in getting these or if you're thinking about getting these, I would highly recommend it. They are really a lot of fun to receive in the mail. Um, I know Megan and I have had a lot of fun with them. We've made all kinds of stuff already with, with the essential oils and I'm just learning myself. So this is a really great way to get started to, um, to get to kind of find out the benefits of some of these essential oils and how to use them. So yeah, I think it's a really cool way to do that. So that's everything for today. Until next time, I'll catch you again. Bye for now, everybody.